Sarah, how do you feel about what you witnessed today, the proceeding? Did everything go to plan? Was everything how you would have liked it? It was seamless. Seamless. I'm thrilled. I'm actually speechless. I'm so thrilled. That music just ringing out there from the from the Abbey. Oh, gosh, spectacular. It was sublime hearing that music and the, the voices of Westminster Choir and the other choirs that made up the musical procession there. Really, really spine tingling, once in a lifetime stuff. Absolutely incredible. I am, I, I'm, I'm blown away by it all. And it couldn't have gone any smoother or any better. It was seamless. I don't think the King could have wished for it to go any better. It was, it was just perfect. I mean, they've rehearsed this again and again and again, and it, everything just went without a hitch to plan. So I'm just hoping that carries on that momentum. And um, I just wanted to correct, just qu just quickly, your correspondent earlier um, said about the coach. But the coach was commissioned in 1760. It was first used by King George II for the state opening of Parliament in 1762. And it's been used at every coronation since that of William IV in 1831. So it's incredible to see to see this old coach, its wheels trundling down, down the mall in that procession. But I think the king and Queen Camilla, I think they're relieved. Camilla looked so nervous, didn't she, throughout the ceremony. But once that crown of Queen Mary's was placed on her head. <laughs> she she had that smile. She you could see the relief, the palpable relief going through her body once that crown crown was placed on her head there. It was just a wonderful moment, really, really, really was. And I think the country now will, will embrace Camilla because I know there's been a little bit of antipathy over the years because of the ghost of, of the late Princess Diana, Princess of Wales. But I think people have seen what an asset she is to to King Charles how she helps him, she, you know, she's a wonderful comrade by his side, a wonderful companion, and she will be a great help to him as, as he governs, governs the country going forward. And there's Princess Anne there, who's played such an important part in this coron coronation ceremony. She really is such an asset to the king, and the fact she's been given a real leading role today speaks volumes of how highly King Charles thinks of, of his sister Anne and how important a part she will play going forward in the royal family and his, and his in and, and in his reign. It's been a, a you know, I think fair to say fairly sombre, it's a very ceremonial proceedings that we've seen so far today. It's uh, abiding mm. by the traditions, uh, the rituals of history. Um, will the, 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 the sort of strings loosen up a bit now? Will we see things turn a little bit more celebratory, uh, a little bit more I informal? Because a lot of people gathered in the capital now and uh, traditionally we see royal celebrations tend to take up sometimes several days. Yes, that's correct. So it was trying to strike the balance. Today was about trying to strike the balance of pleasing the average royal watchers who want that sense of history and pomp and ceremony and tradition. Because it's important to continue the traditions, continue centuries, of, of traditions and, and ways and methodology. So you're sort of trying to straddle both perhaps of keeping those people happy and then also bringing in, you know, new what um, younger royal watchers who might not know about it and, and want to feel the king's more in tune with them. But I think Charles is trying to strike that balance. We've got the coronation concert coming tomorrow, which is for a younger audience with, with performances from the likes of um, I'm sorry, my brain's gone blank there. Um, Katy Perry, for example, who's flown in from America, the pop singer, um, and Lionel Richie. So he's trying to strike the balance between the old and the new, the, the modern and the ancient. Today's ceremony was really about the ancient, but it will start to lighten up going forward. And Charles is very aware of his image. He's, he feels his image very keenly. And he, he likes to know his image is being perceived well. Of course, he's king. He wants to know he's going to be a popular monarch. Who doesn't? Um, so he's, he's very, very keen to, to keep striking that balance right and let it be knowing that he's a king of the people, a man of the people. He wants to embrace everybody, bring them all in. Today was about inclusivity. There was a lot of diversity. Within, within that ceremony from the people who attended and bringing in the elements of all faiths as well, while retaining the ancient of, of being the Protestant faith too. I think today really was a ceremony for all. Appreciate your thoughts there and thanks for uh, 